Hello everyone, I'm Lindsay from Happy Hour Stitches and I'm popping in to do a little unboxing because I got my Missouri Star order for the month. So I cannot wait to share what I got. So let's open it up. Okay, so this month, my business partner, Elizabeth and I, we were just kind of thinking about things we have always wanted. <laughs> We like, tr we wanted to treat ourselves a little this month. And so we got some things we, um, you know, have just kind of not bought, even though we probably would use it very often. <laughs> so, um, so it's like an eclectic mix of items. So first of all, I got myself some Dritz, um, basting pins. Now I own these pins. These are my favorite. This is my favorite size. They are... Um, an inch and a half size. They're, they glide through your layers so smoothly. They're my favorite, but I needed more. I was constantly kind of running out and then I would only be able to baste like, you know, half of a large quilt. So I'm stocking up. I should not have to only baste half a quilt at a time. These are so cheap. So treated myself to these. I needed them. Okay. In a similar vein, we got some fabric glue refills for our sew line glue pens. Um, so we use these for English paper piecing. Um, I also use it, you can use it to hold paper templates in place. You can use it to hold binding in place, fabric pieces when you're sewing them together. So many uses, um, we go through them quickly. So just get a little stock refill. If you've never tried a sew line glue pen before, highly recommend. They're one of my favorite items and I continuously find like new uses for them. Okay, I mentioned English paper piecing. So we got some Sue Daily paper pieces. So last month we bought one inch hexagons. This month we got three fourths inch hexagons. <laughs> we're getting smaller. Um, we're working on some projects and we're trying to like figure out the right size that we need. So one inch felt a little big. So we're gonna try out the three fourths inch. I don't know if we could go much smaller. I mean, I don't like piecing super tiny things, so I hope the, th the three fourths inch ones work out. <laughs> okay, how about some fabric fun? These cute mini charms for the Ruby Star Starry line from Alexia Abeg. Oh my gosh, look at these colors. like a very like kind of muted rainbow. Oh my gosh, just speckled with stars. So we got three mini charms because we're working on a project that needs smaller squares. And we thought this was a really fun color palette. Um, so yeah, we're excited to have this. I love this line. I'm gonna buy yardage of this soon. <laughs> okay, Wonder Clips from Clover. I don't have these yet. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I think I ended up with like two or three random ones from something. And so I use them when I do my binding, but I keep having to like move them along the binding, the like three I have. So I'm like, just buy some, just buy some onesie. So I got the rainbow ones because who doesn't love a rainbow? Um, so I can't wait to use these. I can't wait. I need a quilt to bind. <laughs> I need to finish something so I can bind. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited about these. So my scissors that I own, I've owned them probably for 10 years now. <laughs> they are not cutting through anything. They're not cutting through fabric. They're not cutting through batting. They're not cutting through paper very well. And I was struggling through, but why? So I got the Missouri Star eight inch scissors. Um, I have heard from people that their cutting tools, their scissors, Oh, look at it. it comes with a nice cover blade cover i've heard from people that their cutting tools are like the best so i cannot wait oh they seem very sharp they seem nice i love the color of the handle it feels good in my hand so i'm excited to cut so i need to cut something <laughs> um so i can't wait to try these out and um they have a variety of sizes of these scissors so if i love these i'm gonna get more sizes Okay, I also got Missouri Star 50 weight thread. Um, I use 
only Aurifel thread right now. Um, I've tried other types of threads and they just don't work very well with my machine and I just don't love my piecing results. But Aurifel can sometimes be a little expensive, especially when you're piecing a lot and I do a lot of sewing for work. Um, so I, I wanted to try the Missouri Star Thread, which is a much cheaper price point. So I'm hoping the quality is still there um, because if this works great with my machine and I'm liking the results, I am stocking up on this in all the basic colors so that I can use it for all my work piecing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm excited to try this out. Okay. <laughs> Then I got some rulers. So let me explain my ruler situation. My entire quilting life, I have done it with two rulers, two sizes of rulers. So I have my Olfa 6x24. It's my favorite ruler. I use this for everything. And then my next size is my Missouri Star 2.5x8. These are my two sizes. There is nothing in between. <laughs> So I've done this for years. It doesn't really bother me that sometimes I have to cut small pieces with this huge ruler, but I'm ready. I'm ready for an upgrade. So two sizes, love these two rulers. So I got the Ulfa six by 12 inch. So now I have my medium size. This Ulfa frosted ruler is like my absolute favorite. I've tried other rulers, the Ulfa's my favorite. So excited to have a ruler I can cut smaller pieces with. <laughs> and then I got a Lori Holt Cute Cuts 10 and a half inch ruler. I don't own any square rulers, so I wanted to try this out. Um, if you are sewing along with our book club uh, quilt along this year, you will know the blocks uh, finish at 10 inches. So I can use this ruler to square up all of my blocks for this project. Um, as well as like any smaller blocks, which I'm very excited about. And just, you know, these flowers, it's just gonna be really easy for me to fussy cut blocks, to trim up square uh, blocks, to cut square sizes. So I'm excited to see if I use this. I have been, <laughs> you know, using this huge ruler for everything, for every single cut. <laughs> So now that I have other rulers at my disposal, I'm curious to see if I use them a lot, what I think, but I'm very excited. Okay, this is a surprise from Missouri Star. They sent us, oh, notebooks, a set of two notebooks. Let's take one out. I always love their patterns, their color palette. How fun, what does it say? Fabric is a quilt waiting to happen. I love that. Oh, <laughs> what a nice little gift. And then, of course, we have Chuck the Duck. <laughs> Very dressed in his spring embroidery. Uh, ooh, having an ice cream sundae for summer. How fun. So, um, we do have a special offer for anyone who needs to stock up on Missouri Star. So if you liked any of the products you saw here, I will make sure to link them in the video description. Um, and if you're doing any shopping at Missouri Star, you can get 20% off your entire order of $50 or more by using the uh, affiliate link in our video description. So I hope you check that out. Great time to stock up on things you need, buy backing fabrics, you know, buy yardage and get that discount. So I hope you check it out and let me know what you think about any of these items, if you've tried them or if there are other products we should try. I'm a minimalist in my sewing room, but I'm starting to expand. So I am on the lookout for tools I will use often. So everyone have a great April, get your shopping on and I will see you later.